what? It all starts with the man. It starts with the man. The scriptures say the man is the head of the household. If your household is messed up, it's the man's fault. Hey, you ain't gonna get in a house with no roof. <laughs> if the children are messed up, it's the man's fault. Why? Because he should have picked a better woman. Yep. Instead of looking at her hips, he should have been looking at the inside of the woman. Three, right. brother. Uh, uh, you, can't, you can't change a harlot. Let a harlot be a harlot and stay away from her. Isaiah 33 and 6. And that's, wisdom that's and knowledge. America is called a harlot. You can't change America. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, 33 and 6. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Because we studied this Bible. We understand this Bible. We know that God is true. We know that he exists. So our minds are stable in such troubled times. A lot of people are running. They don't know what to do. They don't right. know what is Trump going to do. Right. Read the, again, I'm going to keep saying this. Study the Mexican repatriation. It happened in 1929 to 1936, where over 2.1 Mexicans were deported, and half of them were citizens, were legal citizens of America. Yet the American people deported, the government deported them anyway. They are about to repeat the same process. Right. Wake up! Right. And you Negroes, you are not exempt, because they don't have nowhere to send you, so they're just going to kill you and bury you. Right. Because we tired of y'all thugs too. Right. We we tired of y'all welfare queens too. Yep. But we're not gonna touch you. We would rather say repent and change your ways so the Lord can defend you in that day. Right. Because you're gonna be hopeless in that day. Right. Nobody's gonna defend you. Nobody's gonna say, uh, come over here. Come over here, Pookie and Ray Ray. No, they're gonna say no. With the pants sagging off your butt, you stay God. over there before I shoot you. <laughs> They're they going to see them women with the pink hair and the purple hair. They're going to say, stay over there before I shoot you. Right. But you better repent and look like a like you got two brain cells in your head to rub together, and the Lord may have mercy on you in that day. All right? Uh, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, and strength and salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's our treasure because we fear him. That's that oil. This is the oil. We don't, we don't have to go back and get our oil. All we have to do is make sure we don't waste our oil now. Go ahead. It's Ecclesiasticus chapter 22 and 16. As timber and dirt and bound together and the building cannot be loosened to shake it. So the heart that is established by advised counsel shall fear at no time. That means it's just like, like for instance, let me just, you know, brother like that, man, he here and he might feel the Lord at no time. He just got off just that quick. And the most high can come just that quick and that brother could be saved at no time, man, because yeah. he had fear of the Lord just that quick, man. And, and what, what's the evidence of that in the scriptures? What is the evidence of that? The thief on the cross. Uh -huh. The thief on the cross, he accepted the Lord instantly. And the Lord turned to him and said, uh -huh. this day will you be with me in paradise. Right he didn't have time to get baptized. He didn't have time to learn all of this. Nah, he did come. Wow. But because wow. of his faith, this day you shall be with me in paradise. Now, does that mean skip all the steps and hope to have the faith of the thief on the cross? Well, if that's all you got, then that's all you got. But if you have time now to learn, time now to repent, you have time now to be baptized, do it now. Don't put off today what you, what, what you should do right now. Right. Don't put it off. Do it now. Because you may be rejected, unlike the thief on the cross. Go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Right. Don't walk, don't, in other words, if, if the Holy Bible and your relationship with the creator of all is the most important relationship on earth, why do you not study this day and night? Why do you study YouTube or Facebook? Why are you on social media more than you are in your Bible? If the Bible is truly your, the most important relationship to you, then prove it right. with your actions. Oh, I have <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Proverbs chapter one, seven. The fear of the Lord is the 
beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Uh, I mean, as we were children, we were going to school. We were children. So the teacher had to tell us, sit and sit down and behave. Because you're a child, you're not going to sit down and learn. Are you still acting like a child? Did not Paul say, when I became a man, I put away childish things? Right. Pick up your Bible and learn to read it. Right. Fear the Lord. Nobody should have to tell you to sit down and read your Bible. You say you believe in God, understand his ways. Pick up the book and read it. Get to know him. Right. Hey, I always tell people, how can you say you believe Get in Get to know him for yourself, God. not somebody else telling you about him. I'm sorry. Right. No, I, I interrupted you. I apologize. Yeah. How can you... Uh, Believe something that you don't read. That's right. It's just, yeah, so I, I believe they, that, but I don't study it. They put their trust in man. Oh, man, give me uh, yeah. 1 Corinthians 11, man. This is what I want. Go ahead, I can speak it on it. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, because in Revelation, it says, Bless me, the man. Wait a minute. Bless me, that, he that readeth. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Bless is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. What time? The kingdom of God. In uh, Matthew chapter 10, they say go out and preach, hey, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right. <laughs> but you gotta read it to understand it. Right, 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 right. Hey, like, like what, they told, uh, what they told Nicodemus, man, when they were trying to figure out where Christ came from, they said seek, the, they said, seek out of the book, uh, uh, seek, search the scriptures. So what you gotta do, you gotta search the scriptures, man. I mean, you got some work to do. It ain't, it ain't easy. <laughs> uh, Start at six. If you let him get that right quick, then you get that. Okay. Second Corinthians 12 and six. Yeah. Uh, second Corinthians 12 and uh, Start at six. Uh, oh, so you had 11 and 14 or something. Go, guys. Y'all wait. All right. All right. Take it, man. All right. Here every Sunday, man. Most high willing. Right, and that, that was beautiful uh, because when he walked by, he threw up a satanic sign, and instead of rebuking him harshly, I just said, "Hey, we're not with that, you know." But have a nice day. And he came back and he said, "Dad, listen." So that was him. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Seven Corinthians eleven fourteen. You got it. Today. Start at five. Okay. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 5. Of such one I will I will glory. Okay, now now how by having reading this, I think you're going into the thorn in the flesh. Because this is who people heap to their uh, they, they heap the teachers that they heap to themselves having itching, itching ears. Instead of looking to the men that are teaching the Bible sincerely without no no ulterior motive. We're not out here. We don't want your money. We turn your money away. We have people come offer us money. We tell them, no, we don't want your money. We want to, to put a fire under you that will cause you to go home and study your book, right. study your Bible. Don't even believe what we're saying. Just go home and see if what we're saying is actually accurate and true. That's what we're out here for, that you may be saved. But not because you follow men, because you follow the Lord. Go ahead. Yet of myself I will not glory, but of mine infirmity. See, Paul said, I'm not going to glory of myself. Right. Go ahead. It says, verse 6, For though I would desire to glory. <laughs> yeah, and naturally a man does, but you got you to gotta lay that aside. Go ahead. I shall not be a fool. For I will say the truth. lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be. Right, because sometimes when you're out there teaching, and uh, and it's happened to me several times, pretty sure you've been doing this for a while, sometimes people, they'll come back to you and say, hey man, I appreciate you, thank you for telling me that truth, man. That, hey, that was, and they look at you as though you're not equal with them. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 on, I'm on the same level as you, brother. Hey, really? you know what I, mean? I tell people all the time, right. I, ain't, I ain't shit, I ain't nobody. Right. I just know something that I want to share. Right, and yeah. this is what Paul is explaining. He said, even myself, I got to catch myself sometime. But hey, but Paul, Paul was being real, man. You better learn to be real too. Go ahead. It says, or that he hear of me, of me, and lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations. Mm -hmm. 
There was given to me a thorn in my flesh. It was given to him what? A thorn in my flesh. A thorn in his flesh, man. And and us here in the time that we living in, the thorn in the flesh is more desirable than Paul did today. People actually desire the thorn now than, than actually what Paul was speaking. But come on, man, because Paul's going to explain to you what that thorn is that people love so much. And then he's going to get down on, on that on that thorn. We're going to expose that thorn. Go ahead. The messenger of Satan the to buffet me. The messenger of Satan, man. He's got, he's got a message from the adversary of God to deliver to you. So if God says, there should be no homosexuals in my kingdom. The messenger, the thorn in the flesh is gonna say, no, homosexuality is a great thing. Right. We should protect it and, and, and embrace it. He's gonna tell you the opposite. Why? Because he opposes himself to God. But he's gonna do it in a subtle manner. He's not gonna come and tell you I'm the devil and I'm gonna tell you the wrong. No, he's gonna lie and pretend as though he is God himself. Right. He's going to pretend as though he's an angel. He's going to say, I'm Christ. Yep, and that's what our people believe too. The devil is never going to come and tell you, I'm the devil, follow me. He's going to pretend to be whom you, who you think you're following. Right. That's how he got me when I was following men. Mm -hmm. When I was teaching the wrong things. Go ahead. Right. Hey, I, I can admit my faults. I, I, I did my journey from Gentile to, to Paul to Saul to Paul. Because when Paul, before Paul became Paul, he was Saul. And when he was Saul, he was under wicked men. He was following the wrong people. They were persecuting the Lord. But he thought he was doing God's work. And when he, when he did find out that he was on the wrong side, he became the persecuted. Are you willing to stand up and be that for the Lord? You, you should be. You should be. Scripture say who should. Uh, you should be stand up for me and against the evil That's right. In this wicked, perverse society, you should be. Lest I should be exalted above measure. Mm -hmm. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice. And that, and that's why, that's why the Lord keeps his his sheep on a low level, because everyone desires the minister of Satan. They desire that fair speech, those smooth words. And, and that's enough on that. Let's, let's expose the minister of Satan. Just, just a quick, brief overlook of why a lot of you people, you can't identify the minister of Satan because you don't identify him with the fruits of the spirit, the works of darkness, which we went over earlier. Just go back a couple videos and rewind it and you'll, you'll see it. The works of darkness. Go ahead. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 14. Do it not even nature itself teach you that if a man have... 7 Corinthians. 7 Paul. Oh, okay. 7 Corinthians. Like, it's like it, isn't it? 7 Corinthians 11 and 14. Okay, 2 Corinthians 11 and 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Satan himself. The adversary himself, those that oppose God and his son, who you call Jesus Christ, they are transformed into angels of light. They pretend as though they are righteous. Right. They come to you acting as though they are actually representing God, but they are representing Satan. Right. Read that again. Do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. The only way to identify them is by the the fruits of the spirit and the works of darkness. You have to look at their works, look at their fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth corrupt fruit. Go ahead, read, brother. Uh, second Corinthians. So if, if you found a preacher and his son is a homosexual, that's a corrupt tree. It brought forth corrupt fruit. Right. If, if their daughters are harlots and prostitutes, that's a corrupt tree. That's right. Because his fruit are corrupt. Hey, that's the truth. Uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Let me look 6 and 40. No, I'm sorry. Matthew 7 and uh, 15. We're on that. Matthew chapter 7.